Well, it's hobby from the start. I mean, you know, they're not, they don't have the power to instruct people to attend, they don't have the power to instruct the government to release various different documents, and most outrageously of all, they're not even allowed to comment on the question of legality or illegality of the war, which is after all the question everyone's concerned about. You say, I've lost the battle and I don't like it. What we're doing today on behalf of millions and millions of people all over this country, men and women, young and old, and from all over the world, we're making a demand. Withdraw our troops from Afghanistan and end the Afghan war. That is what we are demanding. And that demand is one that has got to be heard because for 10 years we've been fighting in Afghanistan. Many thousands of people have been killed. It's an unwinnable war. It's not succeeding. It shouldn't have started. And it's time we brought a halt to it. When uh, the 9-11 uh, occurred and New York was bombed, it was a terrible tragedy and a terrible crime and I understand the anxiety people felt, but Bush went along with the idea that he would occupy Afghanistan himself, although Afghanistan had nothing whatever to do with 9-11. And he sent the troops in and the British government went along with it, and this war has gone on, and let's be clear, we're all, each of us, paying for it ourselves. Every time they make a cut in the public services, the money they save goes into the war. Every time you go and buy anything in a shop that is taxed, the taxation is used to buy bullets to kill people in Afghanistan. So this is a very personal responsibility that we all have ourselves for what we do, and everything in this war is our responsibility. And of course they don't give you much history because in 1840 uh, Britain had another war with Afghanistan. The reason was that the uh, empire, the British Empire in India, thought that the Afghan government was interfering with our government of India, so we invaded Afghanistan, we captured Kabul, and then there was a great rising and the Afghan people threw us out and many British soldiers were killed in the retreat from Afghanistan. 
and this war has gone on and off ever since and many many wars have occurred when the British Empire was built up it was built up by war we occupied India we occupied Pakistan we occupied Sri Lanka we occupied South Africa we occupied Canada the Americans were colonies and it was all done by war and wars become something we sort of told to accept as a national duty they say people gave up their lives they didn't give up their lives they joined the army and were killed or maimed and that is the responsibility we have too for our fellow citizens and for others for the human race wherever the war takes place and now we're on the eve of nuclear warfare and that would be the end of the human race and when you look at it you realize the real problems for the human race are what they've always been enough food for people to live in if you look at africa now ethiopia and uh, the yemen you find people dying of starvation while we are fighting wars and it is morally wrong and it's time that our voice is heard and i believe our voice will be heard so comrades thank you for coming Thank you for all the support you've given. Thank you for all the encouragement, for all the money, for all the backing. And just as so many battles fought in Trafalgar Square have been won a few years later in Parliament, so I think this battle will be won in Parliament. But the speed with which we, do, we win that war depends on what you and I do as individuals where we live and work. So good luck. Peace be with you.